Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. I've gotten quite a bit of feedback. People like the troubleshooting videos, so let's go through another one. This is uh, an actual real problem that I worked on a little while ago, and let's just jump into it. Here's Mr. Laptop. Hello, Mr. Laptop. And then there's the Wi-Fi, and then there's the web server on the internet. And the customers are complaining that when they are on the Wi-Fi network, some of them have performance issues, some of them get the odd disconnect, and they're not quite sure what the problem is. So what I did was simply ask them how often does this happen, a whole bunch of times. So I went over, we did some tests, and luckily enough, it happened to me a whole bunch of times, and I was able to capture some packets. So let's uh, cue Wireshark. Boink! There it is. And we can actually see all the packets from my trace file. This is an unfiltered trace file, by the way. So the first thing I want to do is uh, just take a look at this, eyeball the screen, get a little familiar with the pattern. Uh, and what pattern am I looking for? Well, stuff like uh, two, two data packets and an ACK, two and an ACK, two and an ACK, that sort of thing. The other thing is I want to check out the time. And I'm, I'm not really concerned about the clock time so much because if you're measuring latency with a clock, you're kind of behind the eight ball. I want to change this. So a little trick, a little tip, view time display format and I want to change this to seconds since previously displayed packet and I like displayed because it'll maintain that delta time when I have a filter so I'm gonna hit the space bar you can hear it clunk in a second there it is and that way the menu stays up now I can move down here and I could make sure it's milliseconds or seconds or whatever I wanted to use in this case I want to keep milliseconds and I'll just click on that with my mouse and now the menu goes away so there you go now we've got this up. You can see some patterns emerging fairly quickly as far as time goes. There's a whole bunch of 21s. See that? Now we're assuming the beginning of this worked fine. So 21 is probably the nature of the network and the latency that they experience through the network, through the uh, internet connection, and so on and so on and so on. So this all seems to work. La 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 la. Everybody's happy. So I don't want to have to go through all these packets because there's quite a few of them here. So what's an easy way to go through 996 packets? Well, one way is to start using that I.O. graph I showed you in previous videos. So the I.O. graph will actually show me graphically what these packets look like. In this case, packets per tick, which is second, so packets per second. In this example, um, the duration is a bit short. So this interval is actually a bit too smooth. I want it a little more granular. I can change it to point 0.1. There we go. And now, all of a sudden, you see a totally different view of this pattern. And you can see, there's the beginning, and then all of a sudden, there's a bunch of spikies and a couple of nothings here, long nothing, and then some more spikies. And you get an appreciation for, hey, it didn't stay the same all the way across. Something did happen, so you have some clues. You can actually go and click around, and if you pay attention to the background here, well, I'm just going to click around, for example, and as I click, see the background change? The number, the packet numbers are changing, see that? So you could just poke around if you like, uh, but we're, we're not really going to do that. I'll show you another way to work on this. Close. And the first thing I want to do, I'm going to go back home to the top. There we are. And I want to pay attention to the HTTP commands. And there's an HTTP get right there. And this is the PDF I got. So if this got bad enough, I may have resent the get command. So I want to find out if this command got sent again. So the easiest way to do that, view, packet details, we'll turn that on. And down here under the HTTP header, you'll see get uh, the request method is a get. Right click, apply as filter, and select it. And now you can see there's my display filter, which is get. And you can see two of them 0 and 7.5 seconds into it. And it's the same file to the same destination, but a different source. Now, this is from me. So, how did my IP change? Well, the answer is actually quite simple. This laptop is on a Wi Fi network with multiple wireless um, SSIDs. Uh, guest networks, corporate networks, so on and so on and so on. This customer happens to be pretty well between two access points and the signal strength is I'm gonna say fairly similar and his laptop for some reason and we'll get into this in some other video decides to flip between wireless networks every once in a while and by doing that his IP changed and IP changed and guess what now you have to resend the get so I've actually seen this where you download a hundred meg file you get 80 meg into it and then you have to redo it all over again that sort of nonsense so this was um, uh, fairly obvious that the IP changed this gets trickier if you're uh, roaming to a wireless access point and your IP remains the same uh, you would actually see the both gets as well but it'd be a, uh, a slightly different pattern so there you go hope that helps have a good day bye for now One